Olimar and Link. And this is, uh, we got the, uh, the grown version of Link this time around on stream. Yep. Let me setting up PS2. Really mm. nice neutral stage choice for both players. Um, I like that Lonesome went through bomb and stage control simultaneously, mm. making sure just not to give anything up from the start of the game. Yeah, you have to against the Buzz. The Buzz is, uh, you know, well-known globally, PGR ranked. Um, uh, I believe it was the eighth at, at this, this point in time. Oh and uh, yeah, he, he knows. He he, he he can predict everything that Donesome could do. So he's got to kind of throw him off, do it a little bit, something a little different so that mm -hmm. the Buzz can't expect it. And this, I believe, would be a good thing for Lonesome to do at this point to actually maybe get a game off him or two. So I'm noticing that I really like the way that Lonesome is pacing this. He is waiting for the Buzz to throw out a Pikmin. Then he counters it with either his neutral air or his bomb or the boomerang toss. Eventually, he kills enough Pikmin that he'll be able to go in. Um, and, and, then it's, and it's a good strategy because look at the percentage difference right now. He's not letting the buzz even get. I mean, he's got a two percent advantage, but still, that's still a little small victory for even he's for Lonesome right now. Really slowly because he knows that if he overextends just once, this could end well. I think oh my goodness! As we were saying. Yeah, like he cannot. Oh my gosh! All my has such good tools to be able to catch Link's landing, the upper actually beating out the neutral in the exchange earlier. Lone Ooh. is just struggling to get anything started. Right, he hasn't touched them since uh, for the last couple of seconds right now. At least a couple of hits Ooh, on the buzz. Twenty six. That's gonna be the bomb recovery. And he misses it. That's okay. That's fine. You know mm -hmm. what? It really be like that sometimes. Still, still not the realm of po not out of the realm of possibility for sure. You know, a comeback can always happen. So right now, Lone has a really great idea of using the Pikmin as like a nice hitbox extension. Mm -hmm. um, and as a result, like he's able to catch all among oh. a lot of the lag of his other moves. Buzz able to take advantage of that, but not not so much. Letting him back in uh, stage, resetting neutral. Right now, Lone is getting a little bit antsy. He's landing aggressively all the time, but able to get a grab off of it, trying to anticipate the low recovery, so he's going to overcommit to it, still able to get back onto stage. But I think that aggression is going to help him out, too, because it's got a little more damage, because, you know, he wasn't able to touch mu the bunch of must in that first stock, but losing that one stock is kind of a 94, getting him closer. Yep. Really nice use of the boomerang there just to cover any potential jumps. Nice up out of shield to catch the goal, but unfortunately only getting one of the late hits that doesn't send the... Um, he, he wanted him to get him with the right side of it. Those purples are scary. They're just like one of the strongest Pikmin. Ooh. So much damage and Link is just struggling to get in on this character. He's going to yeah. go for the tech chase. Nice catch on just... Him oh. not attacking at all, just dropping and shielding. But still not able to take advantage of, of it yet. So not, not able to get a stock off the buzz. It's not an easy task for anybody, but now he's down two stocks to one. Yep. And Olu committing to up out of shield again. Try oh no, he just missed. Oh. He didn't know what the buzz was going to do and just kind of was, just kind of should be that right off stage and that cost him. But hey, that was only game one. There's still two more games, possibly. Yep. Um, so I feel like in the beginning of the game, Lone played it really, really well. But once mm -hmm. he feels, once he felt like I need to start pushing pressure, the way that the buzz was just able to capitalize and make the most out of every single hit, like his percent, just snowballed out of control. And you know what? That's what Alma does. He catches like your impatience, and then like once, like he puts you in the blunder. Oh! Uh, for quite a bit. So I think Lonesome just maybe wants to slow the pace of the set down um, and be careful about committing to really laggy options like it's we saw up be out of shield multiple times. Are you going to see a character switch? No, no. we're still going to go with the tried and true link. That red hat really does work with that shirt though, I can't lie. <laughs> Shout out to Lonesome. Going to be opting for Battlefield. This is going to give Link a couple more approach options mm. um, in this set, and also the higher ceiling is also just really going to help him survive for a little bit longer, uh, since Olimar quite often kills off the top. So there we go. We got a one percent lead. Let's go. Mm -hmm. He's doing. I mean, this is the way he has to play it. Yeah, right? for sure. 100%. But then look, look, what he's over. The He's pressuring him. He's making sure that he can't land. Still finds a way to be able to land. The big purple Pikmin is still active. The boomerang is not enough to take it out. And I love the way that the boss is just keeping it on deck. So far the stage, even with uh, with the small percentages that we see on screen, it's been working out so far for Lotum. 
The Buzz has stage control. He is pressuring from middle of stage all the way to the corner by just tossing the Pikmin. There isn't all that much that Lonesome could do. Ooh. Not going to get punished on the second attempt to recover. Oh Great use goodness. of the bomb. Just basically knocked himself right into the Buzz and the Buzz taking full advantage and now 113% on Lonesome's side. He's got to be playing. He's got to change it up a little bit. Right now, <gasps> oh, I'm not entirely sure if that's what he wanted to do. I don't know. I was the, wondering okay. if he was reading a roll on stage. I don't know about the top classes behind that. But mm. right now, the Buzz is feeling so confident right now that he's maybe in Lonesome's head that he can take the stock at any moment. Lonesome looking a little bit confused, following his brow. Definitely a misinput on his part, and I'm expecting to get the up B there. So he's got a brand new stock. I feel like there's some brand new confidence in this. Got a fast drop with a little scary though, I can't lie. And like, honestly, it seems like, ooh, nice back air. Gonna get the attack though. Oh! Let's go off stage and see what Lonesome could do. See if he could get this stock off. The buzz wisely just zigzagging around him to get back on stage. And Lonesome's actually catching the buzz shielding quite a bit at ledge of fantastic tech. And that is so difficult to do because he has to anticipate what angle the bomb is gonna send him at. And my goodness, the buzz has not been on stage for a while. And there we go, he got a stock. 2-2 two, two right now, 29%. Not too bad right now for Lonesome. Such a great use of a Z-drop bomb there just to basically cover Link's body and then just to protect himself from any incoming Pikmin. This is, for all intents and purposes, a pretty even game right now. Mm -hmm. Getting a little bit, is what I would say. Oh. <laughs> but it's, 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 getting, it's, uh, it's getting a little uh, out of reach there. But oh, bringing it right back. There we go. Mm -hmm. So you were right again. <laughs> Lonesome right now is like definitely like shifting his tempo. He's playing it back, and then all of a sudden he amps up the aggression. He just, but oh, the buzz is just juggling these two purple Pikmin, making it so difficult for him to be able to challenge that. Wisely just uh, avoiding the buzz. Held the Oh, never mind. Got the hit, that up smash, and there you go. Two to one now. Mm -hmm. But again, we still want to take that stock. Let's see if he can take a second stock, even it up. Let's make it. Let's make this an interesting game too. That's going to be the down throw into up smash, trying to get a tech chase onto the platform, dealing 29%. Definitely could have been a lot more, but Battlefield just coming so in handy there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's your bomb back. Yeah, he's been catching Lonesome shielding after a lot of falling aerials. <gasps> wow. So, I don't know entirely about what the buzz was trying to cover in addition with that pivot grab, but it still covered the goal. I don't know what was happening there. Right now he's at 104%, but Lonesome also at 92. He's in danger of losing this stock and the game. Mm -hmm. Using the up through, uh, he threw the bomb upwards to try to catch the high recovery, but not anticipating that the buzz would try to punish him for edge guarding him. Oh, man. He had the bomb perfectly positioned, but he didn't want to pull the trigger too soon. He was just afraid of... Um, he was afraid of, like, exploding it prematurely and then just losing all leverage that he held. And that is the up yeah. throw. And that'll do it. Good effort show for Lonesome. He going mm -hmm. into losers. The buzz moving on. Good stuff to both players, though, honestly. The buzz did such a good job of just keeping Lone out for the duration of that set. That mm -hmm. looked really, really frustrating. Um, on like Link's part, but Lone did a good job securing the first stock, and he's uh, smiling at the end. So it's not like he's taking like the defeat to heart. You know, it's a lesson. He's still yeah. he's still gonna learn and grow in this game, honestly. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, you, you play a, a difficult player like the Buzz, and you're gonna learn from that for sure. It's not like something you go, oh man, that's it's it's I lost, and no, you you you, you learn from that for sure. Definitely.